Hey, primary friends. So today we are going to make bird watching binoculars so that we can all be birders. So you guys will need two toilet paper rolls or you can use one of the paper towel rolls and cut it in half. So you'll need your paper, your paper towel rolls or your toilet paper rolls. You'll need some glue. I'm using Mod Podge just because it's what I have. You'll need beads or some straws cut into beads. So my beads and my straws cut into beads. You'll need some string, some color paper, tissue paper, or paint. And you'll also need some white paper cut into a square about this size. So when I hold it up, it's going to sit on that, like that. So I'll have one here, I'll have one on the other side. So that's gonna help these stay together. Now, first, I'm going to decorate my tubes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cover one spot in glue. And you can see that's not a lot of glue. You can still see the brown, but there's enough there that the tissue paper or paper will stick. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay that on top, smooth it out. put more glue on top of it like that it's another color See how it's not perfect while I'm working on it? It's gonna take a minute to get all of them laid out and you can always come back to a spot. getting there. So this is the messy part. And I encourage you if you're using a table to use a table mat or maybe like a plastic bag just stretched out and laid down on the table so you don't have to get glue everywhere. But I'm just using my desk because this is my work desk so I can get away with cleaning it later. Um, Lay it down just like that. So the spots where it's sticking up, I just slide the paintbrush under there and then I just lay down flat. So down there, just like that. Slide under and lay down. So this part, you can keep going and add more layers. I'm just gonna finish up this bottom here because I wanna move on to the other one so that we can keep going. So we have paper here, another green piece here. like a dark blue piece here and another white piece there so I can tell where I need more glue because I'm it's falling off now so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back under and again lay it down And 
I'm getting some glue on my fingers and that's okay because what am I, go am I gonna do after I'm done with this project? That's right, I'm going to wash my hands. So this is my two. This is the first one. Now I'm gonna set this here to dry. So I'm gonna come over here. And you see how my fingers are inside the tube? That allows me to hold the tube and brush glue onto it without having to hold the glue spots. So again, I'm gonna lay down paper. So you can see it's sticking up over here. So again, I'm just gonna come over and lay it down. You can even paint the glue on top of it just so that it lays flat. Because the tissue paper is thin, so it'll go through the tissue paper. Now, I'm not taking my time with this because I'm showing you guys, but when you do this, you do not move as fast as me because you don't need to. You're having fun. You have the whole day to do this. I wish I had the whole day to do this. I get to go to meetings some days and I have to stop making art and crafting with you guys and go to these meetings. So take your time and think, well, Miss Alex wishes she was making art. Well, make some more. You have time, you don't need to rush. So when we take something that was made for the trash and we turn it into something else, it's called up cycling. So it means that we're reusing something that otherwise could have just gone into a landfill. And this is really good for the environment and it's good for just practicing um, mindfulness when you're throwing things away. Now there's something in art class that we're always mindful of when we throw it away. And I believe it's plastic. Do you remember what they are? We use quite a lot in a day. That's right, the plastic cups. So the plastic cups will not degrade. Remember we talked about that and those cups will stay in that landfill for a while and an animal might eat it. So we have to make sure that anything that we can reuse that's paper-based like this cardboard, that we do because we have so many different ways that we can use it. We can shred it up and use it if we have like a hamster or a gerbil, we can turn it into birding goggles or we can turn it into telescopes or people. I've seen people even cut them into fun, funky haircuts. So there's lots of different things that you guys can do with things that you'll throw out. So next time you're about to throw something out, I want you to look at it and go, hmm, hmm, could I make that into anything? Maybe you can turn that old milk carton into a bird feeder. Maybe you can turn a cereal box into a building. You can make a whole cityscape out of a recycle bin. So as you can see, this one's all done. Whoop. This one's all done. So those are gonna go side by side. So I'm gonna put two flat sides by each other, just like that. Now, 
I can take some glue and I only need to put glue on one side. I put glue on the other side too, but you don't need to put a lot. So I'm gonna find the two wet sides. I'm gonna stick them together. Just like that. And you're going to sit it just like that. Take this. And again, you'll cover it in glue. One side. And you're going to come and stick it so that it will sit across the top. Now, once you've done that, you'll have to glue down the sides because they'll want to stick up. And if you need to use tape, that's okay. Art is all about improvising, which means that it's all about using what we have. And if you don't have certain things, you can find a substitution. So now that I've glued that on there, I actually want to cover it and put more tissue paper on top of that because I don't like just the plain over all that hard, beautiful work I just did. So I'm going to take my tissue paper and I'm going to lay it over it just like that. I'm just going to glue on top of that. So this is actually gonna help my binoculars stay together. The paper and the tissue paper and the glue, they all work together. It's almost like a paper mache. And when I'm done covering it, you're not even going to be able to tell that I put an extra piece of paper on there. So I'm just going to put this here. Hmm. I think I want a light pink right here. So I'm almost done. I just got to cover up these last few spaces. So I'm just going to take this glue. I'm going to rip it. I'm just going to lay it. Right on top. So these are my binoculars. They're held together just like that. Now here comes the fun part. So you'll put away your glue, you'll put away all your paper scraps, anything that you can save like these cuttings. Remember our beautiful oops book tells us that we do not need to throw anything out if we can use it again and turn it into something else. So I'm gonna save that paper right here. Now, I'm going to take my scissors and my beans and the beads that I cut from my straws and I'll need some string. Now I just have a, like a yarn like string. What you'll do, take your string and put it around your neck. 
and you will hold it. So I have two pieces. And you're gonna just try and find out where you want your binoculars to hang. So I probably want my binoculars right about here because I'm also gonna to have to tie a knot. So now I have about that much space. So I'm gonna slip my head out carefully. And hold up that spot where it needs. And there we go. So now I have a string. So I will take my string and I will start putting beads on. Now I really like using the straws as beads just because it's easy for you guys to cut them and make them into your own different shapes and sizes, which can be fun. Um, but I also like them because if you have them lying around or you have one that you use, you can use that too. So if you have an old straw, like from Chick-fil-A or somewhere just lying around, you can use it. Wash it out and go ahead and cut it up and string it onto your string. And you can, again, upcycle it into your binoculars. So I'm gonna put a few more of these. And I'm not following a pattern, but you could. You could go blue, red, green, purple, blue, red, green, purple. Or you could go blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. I'm doing rainbow just because I know that there's all the colors in the rainbow that are in the world. So I think that this could be fun. So I have some of my um, small straw beads. And now I'm gonna open up this container that has all of my little beads in here from our Madeline Himes Day Party. So I have our beads will go on both sides of this. Now you can put on as many as you want. I'm only gonna put a few because I'm videoing this for you guys and I know that you guys don't wanna sit here and watch me bead all day. No, you guys wanna go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna finish this side. I can already hear the birds, so I know that I'm gonna have something to go out and watch when I'm done. And that's really exciting. So I have my string, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it sitting so that the back beads are where my neck would be. I'm gonna lay this down, like this piece will be closest to your nose and face. So you're just gonna put that down like that. Now here comes the part where you are gonna need help from mom and dad. If you have a hole puncher at home, awesome, perfect. If not, use a pair of scissors. Have mommy and daddy take a pair of scissors and they will carefully poke a hole into either side. So there's a hole. And there's a hole. When I'm done, I close my scissors and put them away. And I'm just going to take some of my string. I'm going to put it through that hole so that I can string it. So now that it's through the hole, it looks like this. Right? It kind of hangs on there. So all I'm going to do is tie it. I'm not going to tie it super tight so that I don't rip my cardboard because it's still a little wet and cardboard is again paper. So it doesn't need to be super tight. It just needs to be so that the string is secured to the binoculars. Just like that. And I can even cut off the extra bit 
if I don't want it because it might get in the way of my vision. That'll go there. I'm gonna come over and get the other side. So I'm gonna stick again this through the hole so that it hangs. And now I'm just gonna gently tie it. And again, you can trim it off so that you don't have to worry about it getting in your line of sight. So now, I have my bird watching binoculars and I can take them outside and I can go bird hunting. And you can see just about everything through here. So I would love to see what you explorers find.